Hi, hello friends. Welcome back to my channel. In this video, we shall continue the concept of acid, bases and salts which is given or expected in the syllabus of TET 2022 and also this will be useful for HSCR exams and GPSCR exams. Already I have explained acids and bases in the previous videos. Kindly check the channel description box for the link of those videos. If you have not yet watched, kindly go to the description box and watch it. Even in the channel playlist also the videos are available. Okay. So keeping in mind the aspirants those who are preparing for TET, GPSTR and HSTR also, I have covered all the levels of this particular concept so that it will be useful for all the exams. Okay. So before moving to the video, if you are new to my channel, kindly do subscribe and press the bell icon so that you will get all the videos we upload here which will be mainly of maths and science concepts I take up here. Okay. So generally when we say about salt, uh, normally we use this word salt to mean common salt which is like sodium chloride, right? So this is the salt which is the constituent of our food, the main salt found in the sea water. So but in chemistry, the word salt has more general meaning. It denotes uh, all ionic compounds made up of positive radical which are derived from the base and negative radicals which are derived from an acid. So as we look into the definition for salt, a salt is a compound made from an acid by a partial or complete replacement of hydrogen ions H plus ions of the acid by a metal or electropositive ion or radical. So about this we have already uh, solved enough equations based on acids and bases and how salts are obtained also we saw or you can also define salt as a compound formed along with water when acid reacts with the base simple form you can just say this okay when acid reacts with base it forms salt and water general examples form salts are NaCl sodium chloride Na2SO4 sodium sulfate KNO3, potassium nitrate, etc. These are the salts. So, since um, the definitions for salts and all may not be asked in the exam, this is just for us to understand or to recall. I am not going in depth of this. Let us directly move to the concept now. As we are moving to the classification of salts, normally acids are classified into three types normal salts, acid salts, and basic salts. Other than this, Based on the solubility, they are classified as soluble salts and insoluble ones. Okay, so in case of this classifications, normal salts, what are these salts which do not contain any ionizable or replaceable hydrogen atom in their molecule are called as normal salts. For example, NaCl sodium chloride, BaCl2 and KNO3. So these are normal salts we say. Why these? What is this BaCl2, barium chloride and here potassium nitrate. These are normal salts when they react with the, or when the acid reacts with the base without any H plus ions or replaceable hydrogen atom they are just obtained. Okay. They do not contain any ionizable or replaceable hydrogen atom. In case of acid salts, salts containing replaceable hydrogen ions in their molecule are called as acid salts. So here you can observe H and H here. So they are replaceable hydrogen ions NaHSO4 that is sodium hydrogen sulfate NaHCO3 sodium bicarbonate. So these are acid salts. In case of basic salts, salts which are formed by the complete neutralization of polyacid bases are called as basic salts that is CuOHCl basic copper chloride so these are basic salts okay so as we look into this pH of salts when salt is um, prepared a salt solution that is mixed with water in a appropriate ratio and if they prepare the salt solution and you can test that solution using the red litmus paper and blue litmus paper. You know how to check it and if the red litmus paper any solution you can take salt solution. If the red litmus paper in that solution is turns blue 
so that is base right if blue litmus paper turns red that is acid solution okay so based on that value from 0 to 7 if you get the ph value 0 to 7 the given solution salt solution is acidic salt and if it is of ph value is 7 to 14 it between 7 and or above 7 and 14 and uh, so that value is of basic value right so that is base salt if the value is 7 that is obviously neutral that is ph value is less than 7 the given salt is acidic ph value is equal to 7 that is neutral if ph value is greater than 7 then that is a basic salt we can say okay so how they are obtained when strong acid reacts with weak base generally ph value will be less than 7 so they obtain yes acid is strong so acidic salt next in case of strong acid and strong base if a strong acid reacts with strong base they become neutral ph value is equal to 7 okay they obtain neutral salt if weak acid is combined with strong base and the ph value will be greater than 7 hence they obtain basic salts okay you can remember they may ask for the multiple choice questions let us now directly move to learn more about salts very very important points so in case of HSCR exams also you can expect if at all if it is given in the syllabus definitely we can expect the questions from this part and even in the GPSTR exams and TET exams also you can expect so we have already learned that when hydrochloric acid HCl reacts with sodium hydroxide NaOH gives NaCl sodium chloride and H2O where NaCl is the uh, common salt or sodium chloride it is called the chemical name is so what is the major source of this sodium chloride it is the sea water major source okay and um, we can classify again the sodium chloride is the raw material for all other products obtained what are those products mainly we will check out with this main points only okay first is sodium chloride is used as a raw material to produce sodium hydroxide NaOH and also for baking soda NaHCO3 that is sodium bicarbonate or it is also called as sodium hydrogen carbonate and also NaCl is a raw material for washing soda that is Na2CO3 you can generally just call Na2CO3 or it is also represented like this Na2CO3 10H2O that is sodium carbonate and also to obtain bleaching powder CaOCl2 ok so we will be learning about this in detail now before that let us check out about this rock salt what is this rock salt the na generally naturally occurring brownish mineral uh, that is from the sea water they will collect uh, they will collect in a particular field and they will make it to dry by sunlight and they obtain a kind of mineral that is called as halite so that contains mainly of NaCl sodium chloride is called as rock salt where that is brownish in color because it contains a lot of impurities later they will take it to the factories and they will purify it ok they have salt has to undergo lot of uh, process and then only we obtain that white color clear salt ok salts play an uh, important role in our life our food is tasty because of salt right not only because of salt other ingredients also but without salt the food will be not will not be tasty right and in the freedom fight the salts play an important role when British asked uh, us Indians to pay the tax for producing salt also then Mahatma Gandhiji and others those who involved in the freedom struggle fight they were questioning so they questioned and hence because that was the important point important symbol in our freedom ok so salt plays an important role in our life let us now move and check out with in detail how sodium chloride is used as a raw material to for making all other different substances first moving to sodium hydroxide so when sodium chloride is taken and electricity is passed through the aqueous solution of this sodium chloride that is called as a brine solution 
okay BRI any brain solution it decomposes to form sodium hydroxide NaOH and chlorine gas plus hydrogen gas is liberated so this process is called as chlor alkali process because the product formed here okay uh, they contain that is chlor for chlorine alkali for sodium hydroxide here this is a base right so this is alkali and chlorine gas hence this process is called as chlor alkali process so this is how sodium hydroxide is obtained very simple 2 NaCl in aqueous solution plus 2 H2O liquid which gives us 2 NaOH in aqueous solution plus Cl2 gas and hydrogen is also of course gas so the explanation and all may not be asked for TET exams so um, the options will be given multiple choice questions you know you can guess it what kind of questions can be ex expected so here chlorine gas which is given off at the anode the setup is made accordingly if you go through if at all you have the materials to oh, refer you can just check out with that okay so um, let us not go in detail this much you remember that's enough what are the uses of the sodium hydroxide they are mainly used to produce soaps uh, dyes explosive materials and even used in the petroleum products production of petroleum products these are the uses of sodium hydroxide so let us now move to bleaching powder okay bleaching powder is called as calcium oxychloride okay o is present here c a o c l 2 okay so how it is produced let us check out now we know that already in the above equation that chlorine is produced during the electrolysis uh, of aqueous sodium chloride solution in this they produce chlorine gas okay that is brine solution we call so this chlorine gas is used to manufacture of the bleaching powder now so bleaching powder is produced by the action of chlorine on dry slaked lime so this is called a slaked lime caoh2 slaked lime combines with chlorine gas on passing chlorine gas to slaked lime caoh2 and hence they obtain caocl2 bleaching powder plus water so this is how bleaching powder is obtained caocl2 okay though this is a uh, composition is quite complex it is expressed in this equation and what are the uses of bleaching powder so we know that bleaching powder first thing which comes to our mind is to bleach water right bleaching powder is used to drink uh, to bleach the drinking water to kill the germs that is to f make the water free from the germs and it is also used in textile industries that is to bleach cotton linen etc for bleaching even wood pulp also uh, in factories they produce um, papers right so there to bleach the wood pulp they use and also uh, it is used in cloth uh, laundries to bleach the cloth cloth bleaching and bleaching powder is also used as an oxidizing agents in chemical industries next we shall move to baking soda the chemical name for baking soda is sodium hydrogen carbonate chemical formula is NaHCO3 it is also called by the name sodium bicarbonate you see h is present so bicarbonate and also called by other name bicarbonate of soda okay so these are the names so these kind of questions we can expect in tet exams multiple choice questions the chemical name for baking soda is our chemical symbol for baking soda they can ask okay sodium bicarbonate so how it is produced we know that uh, baking soda is commonly used in a kitchen for making tasty uh, crispy fries like pakodas and uh, bonda and all we make no so even sometimes used for idlis also to make soft idlis we use baking soda in kitchen okay so for some extent only they must use otherwise if it is exceeds the limit it will become very hard the things the eatables becomes very hard let us now get into the concept now how it is produced the chemical uh, using using NaCl sodium chloride mixed with water and combines with carbon dioxide plus NH3 forms NH4Cl ammonium chloride plus NaHCO3 so this is the chemical equation for that okay 
this is how baking soda is produced hence what are the uses it is used in kitchen even in fast cooking also sometimes in hotels and all uh, to cook the rice fast people add baking soda to the rice so we should not consume continuously from hotels okay so that will spoil your health uh, sometimes the stomach upsets and uh, intestine ulcer also it may cause consuming excess amount and baking powder is different you should not get confused with baking soda and baking powder so what is baking powder baking powder is a mixture of baking soda and some edible acids such as tartaric acid and cornstarch okay so when baking powder is heated or mixed with water and hence the following reaction this reaction takes place and then produce carbon dioxide plus water and sodium salt respective sodium salt it gives that's how baking powder is produced nhco3 combines with h plus gives carbon dioxide plus water plus sodium salt so this carbon dioxide which is released produced during the re reaction can cause uh, very soft cakes and soft bread and all to make them to make spongy fluffy soft cakes okay that's how we get soft soft cakes in the bakeries we get so baking powder is used in the bakery it's a combination of acid and uh, especially of tartaric acid and cornstarch so clear about this point okay next mm, where this nahco3 is also used it is also used as an antacids that is um, for ulcers and all no to neutralize being alkaline it neutralizes the excess acid in the stomach and uh, which provides a relief okay nahco3 baking soda so by different names they call by market they e no and all they sell no that's what and it is also used in the soda acid fire extinguisher baking soda is used in the soda acid fire extinguisher so these are the main uses of baking soda next another chemical that can be obtained from sodium chloride is washing soda na2co3 this is how it is represented chemical formula and na2co3 10h2o also we represent what is this na2co3 just now we learned that sodium carbonate it is which is obtained from baking soda from sodium hydrogen carbonate when it is heated we obtain na2co3 okay so this na2co3 plus 10h2o gives na2co3 10h2o okay that's how we obtain washing soda as we move further to check out the uses of washing soda washing soda generally used in the manufacture of soap paper and glass etc in the respective industries and also they are used in as a cleaning agent borax manufacture uh, you can find this borax in toothpaste even in the mouthwash and all we can absorb this borax it's a cleaning agent okay and also especially like a cleaning agent the borax uh, wa washing soda is used and also to remove hardness of the water washing soda is used so these are the main uses so almost we have covered the important points from salts so with this we have completed very important point of acid bases and salts expected for the tet 2022 and also which will be useful for hstr exams there there is a news that we'll be expecting hstr in month of feb february 2023 and also for hstr exam if you are preparing this chapters will be helpful for you okay so if you like this video kindly comment in the comment section or you can give a like so if you respond i will understand and also if at all you would like to have revisions of some particular chapters you can please comment in the comment section accordingly i will take okay so uh, kindly follow our channel and watch other videos when you during your free times and prepare for the exams only few days are left for the tet exams if you are fresher preparing for our tet now and then in between the videos i will be giving you tips and also some easy methods to cover up the syllabus and all you can just follow our channel okay thank you thank you for watching